Today we'll be talking about preventing and addressing opioid misuse and opioid addiction, our nation's challenge. I remember hearing on the news about prescription pain pills, that kids were using it and it was harming them. I remember thinking, oh, it's prescription pills. They're not dangerous. As a parent, I think we need to question the prescription that we're getting for our children to be aware that for some people it just takes using uh, an opiate one, two, three, four times before they become addicted because addiction is a disease, it's not a choice for many people. A majority of people who are accessing prescription medications for non-medical use are actually getting them from family or friends or other sources. Some, of course, uh, from uh, their own physician, but it's being diverted and it's because it's available. Uh, we clearly care about saving lives. It is important that we prevent people from overdosing, but we have to work starting upstream with prevention and work our way through to preventing the overdose. And if we do that, we can in fact change communities. I think um, that for anybody that has a family member or a loved one that um, is dealing with a, an opioid use disorder, I, I just want to leave some hope, I guess, because actually most people do recover. It may take time. Um, it takes good treatment. It takes recovery supports after treatment. Those things can be available and are available in some communities, and there is hope. Mm -hmm.